This is a special edition of NBC10 at Issue with Philadelphia Republican mayoral candidate Karen Brown. NBC Candidate Issue continues on NBC Philadelphia nonstop with Karen Brown, candidate for mayor. Do you have a preference who the next city council president is, Daryl Clark, for example? You know, I, I don't think Daryl Clark would be a good choice. I don't think he has enough experience behind him. And I, nothing against him because I actually do like him. I just think he's a little too green. I know he's been there for a while, but I haven't really seen much of what he's done. I actually had the opportunity to go through where he literally is council. I was in Temple and I listened to those people and they were not too thrilled with him being their council person. Now you know he's closely connected to former Mayor John Street who you say is firmly behind yes. you. That, that, well, the, have you the had choice, this discussion with the former mayor? Well, <laughs> John Street has another friend of his, which is Janie Blackwell, and I truly think she's more of a public servant, and I think she would be a better president for council because she is more of a public servant. I don't think we need to elect a politician to be head of council because the head of council also makes sure that people get their voices heard through testimony. We don't want a politician, because Anna Verna sometimes in the beginning was a politician, and she refused to let testimony happen. Happen. We had to actually take her to court to make sure that that was guaranteed. Well, the Blackwell family has been involved with politics for a long time, and Janie Blackwell's been in for a long time. You don't look at her as a politician? She gives back. I mean, I, she's the only one that does things for the homeless. She's the only one that's out there for the vets. She truly believes in giving back to her community. I've been involved in a lot of the things she's done. And I, you, don't, you don't see that much. There's maybe a few of them that actually do that, but there's very few. There are very few. You're a Republican now. and. Your party has a reputation of being comfortable with being second. What do you like or not like about your party? The city I think party. They, they need to stop settling for the crumbs and realize that we're in a new generation. And I think the city needs to be more bipartisan. It needs to actually learn to get along. Right now, we have a Democratic mayor and a Democratic council that hates each other. They're, they're actually at odds with each other 24-7. It's become the bickering between the two of them. And nothing gets accomplished. I have a relationship with many of the council members, so I'm different. I'm a different Republican because I've been, I was a Democrat for 31 years. So I do have a relationship with them. And I think as a Republican, I'll have a relationship with the governor. So I could be the bridge between the state and the city. And I will make sure the council, their, their concerns are heard and we'll work it out. We won't fight. It won't, make, it won't sell a lot of papers, but we'll actually get things done. Your campaign doesn't have a lot of money, right? We. We ran our primary on $2,000, and it wasn't much. We ran it on, uh, add a couple zeros, and that's the general. <laughs> it wasn't much, you know. We, we did a lot of grassroots. I've been all over the city, put 50,000 miles on my car and many miles on my shoes because we've walked everywhere. But I've gotten to see things and be places and get to know people that I never would have done had I had the money because I would have done what every other politician does, billboards, lawn signs. We didn't have that luxury, so they had to get to know me. And I'm glad I did that. I'm but glad I got to know But are you concerned on Election Day because there is an aspect of money that's historical in Philadelphia about getting out the vote. And the Democratic Party machinery, obviously, for 50, 60 years has been pretty good at that. How are you going to be able to counter that on Election Day? We've had a lot of volunteers. My daughter reached out for new volunteers last night on Facebook and got 100 responses, and that was in the first hour. People are really tired of what's going on, and they're willing to volunteer. And I, and I want people to work in their own neighborhoods and talk to people where they live. You know, I don't want the typical, uh, the, I, I was from the Democratic Party. I know all about the street money, and we're going to put it out there, and people are going to work the polls for you. We're doing it old school. We're asking the seniors, the young kids, to go in their community, talk to their neighbors, and say, look, I've met this woman. I like this woman. Please consider her. Don't worry about what party she's from. Just remember that she's for everybody, Democrats, independents, Republicans. She's for all of us, because she is one of us. She is middle class. She knows exactly what it is to work every day and have nothing. Governor Tom Corbett, his budget upset a lot of people in the city because of in some of the suburbs because of what it did to school funding and also because of the lack of a significant tax likely to happen um, on fracking. Um, do you have any concerns about those two issues and the governor's policies? 
The fracking issue, they wanted me to take a stance on it and I wouldn't because I haven't, running for office, I haven't had the time to really study it. There's, I've heard the argument on both sides and I don't say that I agree with either of them at this point. I want to do more studying before I make a decision one way or another. Is the governor wrong on education? Yes or no? I, I think that he needs to look other places to cut. I, I, and honestly, it was the stimulus that was removed. It wasn't really his budget. He removed the stimulus and we should have never counted on that. All right, more and the last word from Karen Brown on NBC 10 at Issue. Thank you. You're watching the special edition of NBC 10 at Issue.